Alright YouTube, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted series and as you can see I'm driving the SLS AMG which is really cool and as you can see the taillights are pretty cool too. This thing sounds like a beast. Whoa! Ho 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 ho! Nice! That is so cool! Let me see if I can do it again. Turbo noise, which does not exist on this car. Oh my god. Where do I? Oh, that explains everything. It still does it, even though I took off the short gears. That. It's cool and all, but it's, it's not realistic, but, you know. Yeah, look at those taillights, guys. In Test Trial Over 2, I thought the taillights were pretty uh, accurate to the real thing, but this actually has absolutely 100% accurate taillights on the real SLS AMG. And this is, I haven't actually driven in the nighttime in a long time, but this is actually amazing in the nighttime. Turbo noise. Still, the turbo noise sounds amazing. I love that noise. Oh, that sounds so cool! I'm gonna make some more turbo noise. Oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Got over enthusiastic with the turbo noise. Black. I don't like black. And that kind of. Oh, oh. Sorry, I'm overreacting over this turbo noise, which is not realistic. Yeah, that's the sound. The sound is really, really interesting. I've never heard turbo noise that loud on a car. I mean, that's amazing. I think at least I think it's turbo noise. I don't know what it is then if it's not turbo noise. Oh, oh. I just want to keep doing that over and over again because that sounds. Kick ass. Well, not kick ass, awesome. And as you can see, the brake lights and the tail lights are in exactly the same spot. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I can't. What? This is amazing. This is amazing. Maybe it's the double clutch gearbox system shifting down. No, it's turbo noise. It's turbo noise, all right. This thing is fantastic. I don't know if the Test Drive Loader 2 has this kind of noise on the cars. I mean, that is cool. I did a review on that car, but I didn't... Whoa. I don't remember hearing turbo noise. White. Oh my. Oh my. That is amazing. Whoa. Yeah, they sort of screwed up on the front of the car, as you can see. The turn indicator lamps up above the low beam and high beam headlights are illuminating, which they are not supposed to. And then the lower lights are actually illuminating as well, which are supposed to function as daytime running lights and the parking lights combined together, which is kind of cool. And the spoiler comes up on the back too. What a nice feature that they did and most wanted is, unlike Shift 2, is that they actually uh, made that uh, not an air brake, because in Shift 2, that was actually would function as an air brake as well, which I don't understand why they did that. It looked cool, but it's not realistic. Shift 2 is a... a is about making the game realistic, but, you know, it's not. Adding an air brake on a car that is not supposed to have it is not realistic. Bah! Crashed. What the? This car is a weird glitch. As you can see, the lights are flickering. Not, no other car has this kind of feature on it. For some reason, this one has this glitch on it. It's whenever you crash it. It's whenever you get into a head-on collision. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh, and here's the reverse light, which is accurate. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.